equity is used in where consideration or needs is being uh, targeted. It means that um, we have several words in this, in the Barinko County we have 30 words. We have words that are more developed and we have words that are lesser developed. So equity means you bring the, those, the, those words that are not much developed to at least somewhere to bridge the gap between the, the developed words and the undeveloped words. Well, uh, equity is about uh, sharing proper resources in a manner that uh, the beneficiaries get their, their share in a rational manner. Uh, equity, fair distribution of resources in the various uh, wards of the county. Equity is about fairness. It's about being just to all, all, all people uh, in Baringo. Equity means uh, fair distribution or fair sharing of the resources. Equity means uh, looking into uh, distribution of resources and opportunities as by the needs, specific needs of a person so as to reach uh, equal status proportionate distribution of resources in consideration to maybe marginalized areas, the marginalized groups, and it's not about equality, but it's about bringing a society together in terms of uplifting their standards of living. And, uh, the issue of equity is key in terms of leaving no one behind in development. Fairness in how we do things. How fair are we? Access to water has the highest inequalities because uh, though health is not also very far, because we have research, recent research has shown it that there are wards that have as low as less than 2% of water coverage, while others have 85%. Here I'm talking about an example of a ward like Eldama Ravine and uh, a ward like Silale or Tirioko down there in the lowlands. So you see this gap is very huge and that is what brings us to the average access to water of around 30 to 40. But even if you look at the distance traveled, we, ha we do an average of around 10 kilometers. That should tell you that the areas that are very close to water sources, as close as in their households level or homestead level, while others do even up to 20 kilometers. There is a large disparities when it comes to water, especially in the, our parts, the, our part of the sub-county Tiati. Tiati, part of Baringo North, and even south, and even part of Mokotio. There is a lot of uh, long distance travel looking for water. They are not available. The dams dry up. The, the water plants also dry up. The bowls are not sustainable. But water is, is a key need in Baringo. And uh, water has been getting the highest allocation. The community has been prioritizing water as a priority. But looking into now, the, even the departments, the Department of Water in Baringo, uh, the department have, given, have been distributing resources equally in terms of projects. But uh, for equity to be achieved, we have to be biased to some modes where this uh, access to water is still very low. The county government of Baringo has been cooperative with us. We've been having a governor's roundtable, whereby all the departments, all the, all the CECs, CEOs, and key decision makers in the government, we have a roundtable with the CSOs. And during the roundtable, we've been able to highlight, uh, highlight issue, our issues uh, in, in terms of uh, uh, social accountability. 
the executive has made also efforts to alleviate the, those marginalized areas by doing uh, water pans, boreholes, and even dams, and also in partnerships with other with other players in development. The the emphasis always has been to address those needs, like especially water. One is to amend the World Development Fund. Uh, that is an effort. It's a try we made, so we want to amend that so that we reflect the like the national share of revenue, putting the parameters in place. Uh, number two is that we have always asked the members of the county assembly to ensure that we really prioritize based on the needs of the Paringo people. We try to engage the community and the government actors and other stakeholders to understand that how much do we have and then again discuss that it is important to put in a ranking manner or in a priority manner. We work jointly with the executive and we came up with a policy on equitable distribution of our resources. We are improving to go to where the population are. The little that we get, if we utilize at the ground and put, get the, the, the fund for money and complete all the projects, at least people will feel even for those small budgets that we have. We as an assembly will continue to allocate funds equally and equitably by providing county-wide projects and also ensuring that our committees in the assembly monitor them. The national government can increase uh, the resources that comes to counties. The government should uh, improve on their role on, pub on pub public participation. Uh, we need to reach more people, uh, even the marginalized areas, so that there is increased public participation. Two, uh, we need to increase civic education to our people, that uh, for us to develop uh, as a county, we may have to lift other words that are below us. We cannot be sharing resources equally and expect that equity will be achieved. So they need to understand that as much as they require all that or what affects them, it is important for them to consider that which uh, item comes first and in respect to the available uh, resources. We require to engage. All the stakeholders need to engage on this front. Uh, we require more research to, 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 to put facts on the table. Sometimes we say, uh, when we, when we don't have enough facts, I think that also undermines the, the, the effort. County governments can think of investing and expanding the economy, targeting projects which will expand our cultural economy, the business industry. That, that will help us employ more youth to increase the revenues going to counties. What comes out of the public is what the citizens want. It is their needs and they are the ones to utilize.